What's up guys, good morning. Today is Saturday, March 2nd. Um, about to go pick up the bro. One hit one dive session, um, tree prong, do a little tree pronging. Um still looking for that Kagami guys, still trying to get that Kagami, but uh we see. Um show you guys my wall real quick. Sorry about that. I got some things in the way, but It was something I put together for my son, but I get some stuff in the way, so sorry about that. But we get all your basic reef fish, bottom fish, sharks, and my two biggest olos. So stay tuned. I'm about to load up the gear right now, head out. Just got to the spot. We just sweating. Made a little bit trek in. Oh, fix up this hair a little bit over here. Made it to the spot, gang. We're about to jump in the water. Always. We get brought a hook slayer today. <laughs> jump in. See what today brings for us. Yes. Check out the ground. Some tree prong in. Spear guns, of course. Stay tuned. What's up, gang? Welcome back to another episode. Um, we'll try and push up more videos for you guys. So, bear with me. Still new to this video editing and whatnot. But, first drop of the day. Get down to the bottom. Roll up on that three prong. Take a look under this nice boulder. Line up the shot. Boom. First fish up there. Pull them off. Quick reload. Check the opposite side of this nice house. I had quite a few inside so I'm taking my time. Got the two for one. First drop up there. So this drop right here picked up my spear gun kind of situated it more closer to my end of this boulder it had a few main pockets in it so I figured try and bang as many as I can so I put down my gun make sure it's all good not facing me load up my three prong I started looking underneath this boulder and had a lot the like, camera angle is kind of off Lighting up the shot. <laughs> See that vector come flying out. Hit one, reload. I could see one kind of way in the back. See him right there. It's gonna line up the shot. Let's keep it moving, gang. So it's my third drop right here. Same boulder, same structure area. You know, I had quite a few good sized mempachis, so I kind of wanted to hang around this spot for a little while. Um, one thing good with three prongs is that you could always just reload and fire continuously. Like your hand can't take it no more. So here we are, loaded up on my three prong. Kind of looking underneath, watching how the patterns are there running. Line up the shot. One more. Down. Quick reload. Looking underneath. You can see them all. Go for the Hail Mary shot. Miss. Reload again. Looking, looking. I kind of was running out of air at this point, so I had to come up. So, the day looking good so far. We couple men party stringed up on the belt. Next drop right here. We get down to the bottom, load up on that CT8 from Evolve, take a look, notice one man punch right at the beginning, smash him, nice gill paint shot, quick reload, take him off, looking around, let it fly, 
kind of missed on that one. So guys, next drop right here. Rocking my Evolve CT8 Smash Up Root. I like to load my three pound when I hit bottom. It's better for me. I'm not stressing out my hand too much. But damn, this thing packs some power. So right here, lining up the shot. My hand slipped. The Apache got spooked a little bit, so a quick reload. Try not to spook him too much. Lining up the shot. Missed on that one. Waiting, waiting, watching their patterns. Line up the shot. We got him, boys. Nice little tail shot. Good size, Mimpachi. Coming up on the next drop, gang, right here. Same sequence. Get down to the bottom. Load up on my three prong. You know, the Mimpachi start to hide way in the back of the corner of the hole, so I had to kind of squeeze myself in the back. So, line up the shot. Kind of a long shot. Waiting for him to come out. Let it fly. I mean, hit them, boys. Watch this slow motion right now. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Peek out. Boom. We got them, boys. You know, I've been running Evolve 3 Prong for about eight years. And let me tell you, this thing is a killing machine. CT8. Coming up on the next drop, guys. Same hole that we started with with the beginning of the dive. Have choked them pockets in here. So hit down to the bottom. Load up on that CT8. Take a peek on the knee. Had one man pocket come right up to my face. And I have a shot. He ended up ripping off. Reload again. Get up the shot. And we got him. Blowed his whole back. Then seen some in the back. Went for a far shot. And we missed. So, gang, we continued searching. We left that man Pachi hole behind. Let him rejuvenate a little bit. Uncle and blow him out over there. So, stumbled across a couple good sized kumus in this hole. Um. Just one good sizing in there, about maybe two, two and a half pounds. So I was waiting for him to give me a nice shot. I wasn't really rushing it, kind of waiting for him to give me a nice broadside. So I slowed it down in slow mo right here, lining up the shot. Boom, stick to right in the face. And I was happy. Especially getting one this size on a two prong. I was pretty slow. Give him the, the shock of measure. Woohoo! I was stoked. So, Bronco is stoked. Got that good size Kumu. Ready for the steamers. So, I ended up taking a second drop on the same hole. I seen a good size Joe Lewis. I'm all way up and I wanted to see if he was still hanging around in the same hole. So I get down to the bottom, crank up my three prong, kind of peek under this boulder to my right. This is about 25 feet water, pretty shallow. But he wasn't in there, so I focus on the same hole, get a little closer, look inside. I didn't end up seeing the Joey. So I thought about taking a, another Kumu, but I was like, ah, you know, they're on the smaller side. So I figured I'd just let them go. Maybe see them when they're about four pounds. So I don't know where that Joe Lewis went. He played a Houdini and disappear. But I ended up seeing on good sides of Velville. So I figured, ah, we'll take a third drop on this hole. So we get down to the bottom. We load up on a three prong. How's it Nenui? Trying to be pokey or what? But I'm looking underneath this boulder, wishing that he'd pop out, but I don't know where he went. So I creep on this side. 
Kumus is still chilling in there. Looking for that Avail Veil. Then I see him. Line up a shot. And we got him, guys. One more. Try it. So, guys, after that nice size Kumu, good size of Velvel, Unks is happy. We get some Impachis. The Kumu is looking nice and red. So, on this drop, found a couple of smaller boulders. Watch this pop out already. Right this guy comes right in my line of fire and blocks my hole. But he quickly moves because he knows he don't want that smoke from that CT8. So line up the shot on this Mipachi. Good holding shot. Kind of nice fatty too. We looking good. Add this guy to the cool. So gang, next drop radio. We continue pushing, we continue searching. Came across this nice little shelf radio. Took one drop, get down to the bottom. Load up on that CT8. As I was creeping over to this corner, I had so much me parties. So I took my time, picking which one I wanted, letting them calm down a little bit, trying not to move too much, so you get, don't get scared. Took the shot. One more to the cool. And these are all big, so you know I'm not going to stay around. What's up, gang? So, this is going to be the last drop of the day. Okay, son. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate you guys doing that. Please continue to do so. So, on this drop, same routine. We get down to the bottom. Load up on that three prong. I went to go check in that little boulder on the side. I know I seen a few running there. Ended up looking, not really seeing too much action in there. So I look to my right and I see a good size one. Lighting up the shot. Got him. Nice fatty red. I look pretty cool. So thank you guys for tuning in. Until the next episode, aloha.